let's talk about divorce, the courts, and social media. The Supreme Judicial Court of Massachusetts has ruled that a family's court order restricting a father's derogatory remarks on Facebook about his ex-wife violated the First Amendment's protection of free speech. You know, there are many ways in which family courts overstep their legal boundaries with orders. Some parents have been known to experience restrictions on things like their speech, travel, association, along with other areas, which are only par for the course in family court, and yet, curiously, they're rarely challenged. Needless to say, it's not okay for parents to badmouth each other, particularly when their children are there to hear or read. But the challenge is finding a way for parents to behave better without violating one of the most precious documents we have, the Bill of Rights. You know, ideally, all co-parenting relationships, they should have a positive impact on the child and the parents, though this isn't always the case. And for those situations, healthy outlets are necessary to avoid making matters worse. After all, the courts aren't designed to monitor a parent's use of social media, nor should they. But if one or both parents post vile statements about the other on the internet during a divorce proceeding, a parent may feel a court can make an order, just as they do with visitation or child support. But as it turns out, the First Amendment doesn't agree. Therefore, any court that limits the speech of either parent will likely see that order vacated later. So as couples maneuver through the divorce process, it's important to remember that the main idea is to end a marital relationship, not a parental one. Though the temptation to reach out to social media is an easy way to have a cathartic release from a painful situation, all the while receiving overwhelming support, it only adds fuel to a domestic fire. To learn more about this, check out the National Parents Organization. Keep up with them by following the